God damn, man. <laughs> this whole the doctor is a woman thing now is bringing out of the woodwork some of the most ignorant people I think I've ever encountered. I mean, even worse than the whole gender swap Ghostbusters fiasco, if you ask me. Um, as a friend of mine purported, I mean, some of these people are really ill-equipped to even argue this point, uh, where this was already pre-established in the history, the canon, if you will, of Doctor Who. And uh, I, I try my, my damnedest, I try my right best to educate people on this point, that this is something that is pre-established. It's something that has been around for a while. The possibility of gender fluidity, of the regenerative effect, allowing for all of the, you know, base chromosomal design, the DNA of Time Lords and Time Ladies, you know, that whole aspect of that gender, you know, labeling being a, a very human concept. They don't have, they're, they're not as beholden upon these things, these terminologies, these gender-specific roles, the, that labelism, and they're fluid. They, they can change. They can even sometimes, I mean, there was a, a passing, maybe joking, arguably reference, the doctor could become like a cactus person, whatever that species of aliens are in Doctor Who. I referenced the fact that going back to uh, Romana in the classic series with the fourth Doctor, when she was about to regenerate, they made a, sort of a little comic element out of it, a humorous element out of it. But she comes out as a giant, towering, Amazonian-looking woman. She comes out as a very diminutive, small, blue-looking alien creature and things of that sort. I don't understand why people fail to be able to wrap their their brains around this you know why they can't conceive of this and it's such a a you know end game for them oh i can never watch the show again oh i'm so disappointed you know everything you've accepted in the history of doctor who and this is the thing you have the problem with never mind the, the 13 actors who have played the same basic character since 1963, uh, you've accepted every single one of those, but you can't accept one little chromosomal difference, and it's a woman now. Um, oh, you know, pepper pot inhabiting fascist mutants and giant uh, telepathic murderous spiders, evil water, evil planets, entire planets that are evil, and things of that sort. I, I mean, you know, lizard people, mothmen... All these things, I made a very lengthy post on Facebook to this effect. You've accepted all of this nonsense. A time and space traveling vehicle that has a soul that can completely, you know, get into the minds of people telepathically and, and rewire them so that all languages written and spoken, for the most part, are translated and understandable and the doctor being female is somehow beyond you. Okay, um, I guess ignorance isn't always bliss. <laughs> it's a very, you know, pointed pain in the ass sometimes. And I just, it escapes me, it fails me. I, I had one cat come on onto my Facebook posts regarding this matter saying, oh, I wanted a doctor who was badass, who could kick ass. And I'm like, so now that it's a woman, she can't kick ass? She can't be badass? What what the hell is wrong with you? What are you talking about? Xena, anybody? Wonder Woman, anybody? Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if you have to go there? And the list goes on. Ripley and, and all these things. <laughs> you know, Sarah Connor? What the hell? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is really wrong with people? Um, this is not like the the arguable gender swapping of Ghostbusters, which according to some people, it was just politically motivated. SJW leftist agendizing, you know, that kind of thing. And, and shut the hell up <laughs> if you're going to come at me with that. But then you got people saying the same thing about Doctor Who. And getting uptight if people call them not a true fan, if they, if, you know, they're against this. But they have no real good 
goddamn arguments as to why they're against it. <sighs> like, we really needed this in such a, a positive and a affirming series going on 50 plus years. We need this negativity. We need to be surrounded by this. None of these fucking people are anything like the Time Lord known as the Doctor. They may have, in, in their grandiose dreams, have aspired to be like him, have been inspired by him, but they couldn't be further from that. And it's a shame. It really is.